Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cameron and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the ergonomic split keyboard and sculpted mouse combo from ProtoArc. So in full transparency, this set was sent to me by ProtoArc, but regardless of that, this video is really gonna show my thoughts and opinions about uh, the keyboard and mouse, how I have felt after using them for the last couple of weeks to give you guys the best idea of if you wanna purchase it or not. I'm not gonna make you wait till the end of the video to hear my opinion. I definitely have loved using both of these products and I couldn't recommend purchasing the product enough. So with all of this being said, let's get into the video. So we're gonna start off by talking about the keyboard and then we'll move into the mouse. So first of all, here is the keyboard. It definitely is an interesting shape. It certainly takes uh, some getting used to. In the video right now, hopefully you can see kind of my comparison between the hand placement while typing on the ergonomic set compared to how it would be if it was just a normal straight flat keyboard. The ergonomic split keyboard definitely puts your hands in a much better and comfortable position. This is something I never really saw as an issue for myself with my keyboards that I've used in the past. I just always kind of accepted it. But after using this for quite some time now, I've realized how much more comfortable it is to have your hands in this placement. You can see kind of that this allows your arms to be in a little bit more natural of a position. Otherwise, if it's a straight flat keyboard, it kind of makes you tuck your shoulders and your elbows in. Uh, and then it's also not very comfortable for your wrist to just be fully straight. But this keyboard allows the keys to be in a little bit more of a natural position. It is a bit curved, which allows your arms to rest in their most natural spot. As far as the typing experience, like I said before, it definitely takes some getting used to. Obviously, when you've been trained to type on a certain keyboard for years now, it does take a little while to get used to kind of the split design. As you can see here, some of the keys on it are larger than others. It's just meant to make it as simple and as natural of a feel as possible. But after, like I said, typing on other keyboards for so long, it certainly is an adjustment to switch the way the hands are set up. And although it is still the same overall design and layout of the keys, it might be a little bit more of a stretch on some keys than it might have been before. Some of the main benefits of the keyboard other than just the ergonomic design is definitely the function keys. I've been using this with my Windows laptop and I've really enjoyed kind of all the functionality that these function keys offer. So whether it's pulling up all the different tabs uh, that I have on my laptop, going to the home screen, going to the search. Also, I think the cushioned aspect of the keyboard is extremely helpful. I've never really used one in the past. I've always thought it kind of just took up too much space. On other keyboards, I didn't really see the need for it since I never really had issues with my wrists. But for this, it definitely is very helpful. So I found that to be a really nice addition to this keyboard. Now, going into some complaints that I have about the keyboard. The first thing is pretty minor and won't be an issue to most people, but that is that this keyboard, as part of the bundle, does not come with any backlit keys. So on the ProtoArc website, if you were to purchase the keyboard separately, so on its own, um, that model does come with backlit keys. It allows you to adjust the brightness and is just super helpful when you're doing work at night. Obviously, there are ways around it at night. You can tell I kind of have a light set up behind there. So it is still lit up at night so I can still type. But obviously, if the keys were backlit, it would just make it not only a little bit more functional, but also a little bit better looking. But again, that's a very minor detail for a lot of people. They're mostly just doing their work during the day. They don't care necessarily about the aesthetic of it. They care more about the functionality and the comfort. So it's not a big issue for a lot of people. But for me, that was one of the things I noticed. The keyboard that comes with the bundle does not have the backlit keys. Also, the other complaint that I have is, again, strictly aesthetic. And that is that the top right buttons are bright orange. Um, this doesn't really go with the look of the rest of my setup. It's really not a major issue, but I think if the keys were, you know, a lighter gray, white, or even just the same black as the rest of the keys, it would make it look a little bit better. I understand it kind of is the branding of the company, but I feel that it kind of just stands out a little bit too much uh, right there. And I mean, you can kind of tell uh, even just look at it, looking at it right now. The final complaint that I have is something I kind of mentioned earlier, and I think it's kind of just an adjustment of getting used to this other keyboard compared to the traditional. And that is I, I still find myself kind of really having to stretch and reach for some of the keys uh, that are right down the middle. Again, I don't know if I'm really using it perfectly as far as my hand placement, but I've just found you know some of the keys to be a little bit more of a stretch than I'm used to compared to what they would be on a traditional keyboard. 
So again, this is probably just something I'll learn and evolve with over time, but it's something that I wanted to mention nonetheless, because it definitely is a bit of an adjustment going into the, the split keyboard layout. So now going into the mouse. The mouse is one of the things I really was excited about. I've never really had a nice mouse. I always got kind of whatever was cheapest on Amazon. So for this, it was really nice. It was fully Bluetooth. So compared to some of the mouses I've used in the past, I didn't have to plug in a USB into my laptop for it to be Bluetooth. So that was a really nice bonus just because it allowed me to have one more uh, slot open on my laptop for anything I might need. And honestly, you can see it is a pretty large mouse. I didn't know exactly how I would feel about that at first, just because I had never used a mouse of this size before. But honestly, right after using it for the first time, I fell in love with it. I just feel that it glides and feels a lot smoother than traditional mouses. The clicking on it for both the left and the right buttons is very smooth. Also, this is definitely the most high-tech mouse I've ever used. So on it, it has both buttons on the side and on the top. Uh, so the buttons on the side are very useful. Um, they allow you to go forward and backwards. Um, so if you're surfing the web, it's really easy. You know, you just click the one button and you're able to go back. And also the scrolling wheel is very smooth. It doesn't make any noise. There's no real feedback. And it's just, again, kind of a very seamless process. All of this allows the mouse to just feel a lot more premium than maybe the mouse that comes with your desktop or a cheap Bluetooth one you found on Amazon. I really love the mouse. Also, the look of it is pretty cool. And again, it just offers that premium feel that makes me feel that I'm getting the best out of my technology. So with all that being said, that's gonna wrap up the video. If you guys are interested in purchasing your own combo, the link will be down below in the description. Also, if you use my link, I think you're gonna get a little bit of a discount. The combo is $110, but honestly, like I said before, I could not recommend it enough. Not only will it really help uh, the feel and the ache that you might get in your arms and wrists after a long day of work, but at the same time, it really looks very cool. It still is a kind of minimal look, very sleek. As always, if you have any questions at all, you can reach out to me on Instagram right here at Galbraith, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.